Hello everybody, welcome back to Yenes Tech Tips and thank you so much for joining me again. I realize from your wonderful comments, every time I do a video about a simple method, that using everyday items that we just open the drawer and pick up something, items that are available every household and uh, you can do different things with them, is very well appreciated by your side. There are things always in front of us and we're using them every day, but for a very specific reason. And often we don't realize what else we can do with those kind of items for cake decorating. Today, I would like to show you what else we can do with a very simple, basic rice cooker. But I like to explain you first the larger capacity of the same purpose and the smaller capacity of the same purpose so we can understand the relation and why I recommend you to use this and also how far we can go with that. If you are in chocolate business or if you are in a cake decorating business, so uh, it is quite essential that you should have something like that, which is about, I guess, about like a, a five liter container. You can put two small ones on top. You can put like a milk chocolate in one side, dark chocolate in one side, if you like. So uh, it is not really very big capacity, but it's a good size that you can operate day to day business when you're decorating cakes. All right. So what is this? It has got on and off button and it has got also the wonderful uh, ability of uh, adjusting temperature with the thermostat. So that gives us uh, such an uh, incredible possibility that actually we can melt the chocolate, keep the chocolate in the right temperature and also we can even temper the chocolate. So when we start talking about tempering chocolate, we are talking about coverture, which is the, the difference between compound chocolate and coverture. Coverture has a cocoa butter and this has got substitute of something like that, all right? So that is a cheaper version, not as quality as the coverture, but I don't mind to use this for certain purposes like decorating things, sticking things together, gluing things together, and sort of like a not so much for like making chocolate pralines or flavor-wise also not so bad for certain items, but if I want to make a nice quality chocolate mousse, I will definitely use a bit of chocolate or coverture or something like that in that quality. All right. So going back to this one, uh, as I said, the tempering chocolate uh, with this machine uh, is possible, but you have to be very careful because uh, if I open up that issue a little bit more, uh, what is all about tempering is the chocolate has uh, components. Basic components are cocoa mass, cocoa butter and sugar. So these three is combining together in the very sort of homogenized and then sort of very orderly way. So that all the molecules and all the components is holding each other in the very, like, like soldiers, all right? That makes the chocolate nice, crisp, and then just melts in your mouth nicely. And also like the, the sensation of that in your mouth, that wonderful uh, uh, melting uh, very smoothly. So because of the cocoa butter, because cocoa butter is a very hard fat, it's like a stone, but when you put it in your hand, it melts below your body temperature. So that is the whole sensation all about. So how we do that? We release those components from each other by bringing chocolate about 45, 50 degrees. All right. So with that temperature, is the everything is released from each other. When you use only about 35, 40 degrees, chocolate still melts, but the components not really releasing from each other. It's not individual anymore. So that is the condition of melting chocolate, maximum about 50 degrees, so that nothing burned. So if you use more temperature, like 60 degrees or something, some of the uh, components inside will, will sort of reduce the quality, it will change the condition, it will actually burn somehow. Uh, that uh, is not visible, but understandable. When you eat the chocolate, the quality will do it down. So once we have released all those components, melt the chocolate in about that degree, we bring back to about 27 degrees, which is about the chocolate start already getting set, getting all sort of like a bit of saucy, bit of like a, a sort of like a, a ticker, you know, you can see that it start getting set, all right? So that is the, that is the temperature, you mix the chocolate. You mix the chocolate in that kind of condition that uh, the components comes together again, but it is too hard. So we have to bring back to the liquid condition we can dip things inside. So it is about 30, 31 degrees, depends on what chocolate you're using. Milk or, cho milk or dark chocolate is all a bit different. So anyway, I don't want to sort of like 
uh, talk about too much of tempering because this is not about tempering this video about this rice cooker here so that is good to have it but if I'm using something a little I can't use it because it's like too much to worry about it I have to have it always in the hands it's always melted I want to do some cake decorating time to time but I want to I want to start in the morning just warm my chocolate warmer and then chocolate is there I can use whenever I want I want to write something on the cake I want to just glue something together it has to be available so this is about too much for that kind of purpose I have also here something smaller uh, it's like the smallest and the largest I can available in my kitchen so that is called here chocolate heaven and then you can buy it from any any kind of uh, shopping center or like a, uh, even supermarket will have sometimes in special so uh, let's call this also chocolate fondue fondue pot or something you put your one handful of chocolate inside it melts it's good to have it like for writing etc but if I use a three four spoon is already finished I have to top it up again again spend some time wait for this melting again so this is not really hundred uh, percent a useful for many many occasions all right so rice cooker this is about two liter so this is something that I can use it uh, much often than this and also much more than this so this little rice cooker is my hero today I like to introduce you this one not for rice cooking for melting and keeping the chocolate in the right temperature for as a sort of like whole day usage so you know the deal when you're using rice cooker for cooking rice you put rice inside here but we're not gonna do that so I will have instead of rice put water inside first just put about maybe just about two finger and I make sure that the bottom of this pot the second pot is not touching to the water so that is practically it becomes a ben marie in French and we call it in English a double boiler so that the steam of the water underneath will heat the bottom of the, the upper pot and start the chocolate melting we have here two adjustments one is the cooking that's what we start when we do the rice and when the rice is cooked automatically goes to one but I'm not going to wait so long when the water starts boiling I will take immediately manually to the warm condition and I leave it there till the chocolate completely melted I will give a bit of stir in between time to time I'll get back to you when the chocolate completely melted I'll explain you a little bit more I just hear the sound the water is already boiling so I just switch to warm condition and then the boiling will stop and then the water will stay around uh, sort of like 60 65 degrees and then uh, the chocolate will continue to melting I have a just give a bit of stir and I'll be back as everything melted so it's all melted uh, took me around another five minutes to give a bit of stirring and then it's all done okay so let's check how many degrees this one now I have this infrared thermometer I have instantly I read over here 57 degrees so all the rules says 50 degrees is maximum but all those rules is actually more for uh, coverture not for the compound chocolate compound chocolate is more forgiving you don't need to temper much so uh, if I have to use uh, coverture uh, I have to temper correctly so I get the really nice good snap and re really nice good shine and I will be happy to do that but if I have to use this purpose like uh, I'm just gonna dip a couple of cookies inside I'm going to glue a few things inside together and I'm gonna sort of like a, maybe just grab a spoon and put in my cone and write my inscription and this is all the purposes for that chocolate uh, having the liquid condition like this if I have a few more degrees like instead of 50 57 or even 60 that extra degrees doesn't give me any trouble I'm happy to do that so a lot of people in the past ask me uh, in questions that how do I keep the chocolate melted how can I make it like always uh, liquids and I can keep on going and working it I give them uh, quite a few examples like you can give that you can put the chocolate under the light or you can just uh, uh, put it back in the microwave or whatsoever but I hope that this is another option that answering those questions so that is all from me guys today and I'll be back next week with another uh, tutorial give you another tip so please uh, also check yenesv.com you will have a lot more to learn over there thank you so much for watching me again today you know the deal if you like this also please press the like button and share and subscribe God bless you all until the next tutorial bye for now Thank you.